Danny Morrison started up his pastime with the horses. His wife Elaine stood behind him through the ups and downs of harness racing. Their stable was in the backyard so many times you'd hear Elaine come out here with this, come out here with that. Elaine never said a word, she just packed up the kids and away they would go either to Sydney Racetrack, Inverness or Charlottetown with the horses in tow. She never missed a race. Many a night the family would go for a leisurely uh, drive for ice cream, the final destination would be the horse barn of Buster Lewis, Arlo Regan, or Francie Brisa. I only be in just in a minute, Danny would say. And he wouldn't say a word, Elaine wouldn't say a thing. She would just entertain the kids in the car for hours, and later on, Danny certainly got to hear about it. Elaine Morrison passed away peacefully, surrounded by her family, on Monday, July the 9th, she was a huge supporter of harness racing. She was inducted into the Cape Breton Horsemen's Association Ladies Hall of Fame in 2010 for her dedication to keeping family a part of harness racing industry. Elaine, her husband, Danny, have owned several horses over the last 50 years, the latest at the outside downs being Dusty Lane Lass. Canco Quiet Time, Chanis Lucky Three, Blissful Reaction, most recently, Rita's Example, just to name a few. Elaine is survived by her husband Danny, their three children, Glenn and his wife Carrie Morissette, Lisa and her husband Harold Lamont Jr., and Terry and her boyfriend Gerard Kennedy, along with five grandchildren, three great grandchildren. Grandma Lane was always there to cheer on her grandson, Brett LeBlanc. He was the biggest fan as he continues the family legacy in the sport of harness racing. Note side downs along with the family and friends would like to have a moment's silence to celebrate the life and honor the late Elaine Morissette. We thank you very much. In the center field, commemorating the loss of one great lady, Elaine Morissette. 